Hello and happy April to you. If you're watching the replay and it's not April, happy, beautiful day to you. This is Phyllis Jenkins, the founder of the Powerful Journey Organization, where we help women and a few men turn your life challenges into life-changing messages, messages of hope, inspiration, and encouragement that will help others not only survive, but help them to thrive as well. And we are super excited about our writer's journey. This is a group of women who are meeting together. They're writers who are meeting together. We meet every Monday night via Zoom. So no matter what state you're in, you can join us. We are meeting and we are writing our stories and our books that will be published. And again, super, super excited about that. But what I'm gonna to talk to you today is there are some misconceptions that people have when they think about telling their stories. There's There, there are several misconceptions. I want to just um, talk about a few today. This is gonna be a quick teach. So misconception number one is I don't have a story. I don't have a story to tell. That's what most people say, or a lot of people say, but the reality is everyone has a story and that includes you. Yes, you do have a story because you have lived life. You have different experiences, things that you have triumphed through, that God has brought you through. He's brought you on the other side of. Therefore, you do have a story to tell. And I encourage you, don't take the story to the grave. Share your story so that others who are walking in the exact or similar circumstances can learn from your lessons learned. They can learn from what you can teach them because God has brought you through. So misconception number one is I don't have a story. Well, again, yes, you do have a story. Misconception number two is my story isn't interesting enough. Well, we all have had unique situations, circumstances that happen in our lives. And whether you have jumped off of a cliff and were rescued or whether you have had positive experiences that um, that lessons were learned, you can still share those lessons because again, we all have lived different experiences, different life experiences. And so each of us have unique experiences, unique stories to tell. But even though it's unique, your story mirrors someone else's story. And that person who is still stuck where you used to be needs to hear from you. Misconception number three is I must have an exceptional writing skills or storytelling skills to be able to tell my story. No, you don't. You just began writing. And I want to invite you to come into the Writer's Journey community where we teach writing skills, storytelling skills. We present you with resources that will help you. And then we help you from start to finish to not just tell your story, but to leave a legacy of words in your published book. So we are here to help you, to hold you accountable and to bring clarity and help you share your story with confidence. And the last misconception that I want to discuss today is people won't understand or relate to my story. Again, that is so much a misconception, so far from reality, because 
there is someone else who is dealing with or who will deal with what you've just walked through. Your story needs to be told. There is someone else waiting to hear how you triumph through whatever that situation is or was. And whether you are sharing your personal story, whether you are sharing your career, your entrepreneurial, your business story, you have a story and someone needs to hear your story. Again, this is Phyllis Jenkins. I am your book coach. I am your story coach. I am here to help you take that story from your heart and put it on paper so that it can be a blessing to others. Reach out to me at phyllisjenkins.com. Look in the show notes. You'll see, you'll have all the links there to reach out to us. But again, don't take your story to the grave. Take it to the stage which we have a stage to, that you can share it on and many other platforms that you can share your story. I'm on a mission to help 100,000 women tell their stories so that they can be free and you can help rescue someone else who so much needs to hear your story. Be blessed. Bye-bye.